Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the DPF cleaning process. In this case I'm going to explain you how it's like to do the DPF cleaning using the DDL software. If you want to know how to clean the DPF using the regular method then it's removing the DPF and taking to a place to get them clean and all that you can check my channel. I have the video with details on how to do that job. Today we're going to talk about the process of cleaning the filters without removing the filters from the vehicle using the DDL software only. This process is going to work for all Cascadias from 2017 and up and also for Cascadias 2012 and up. So they're all different. These are the uh, 126 and those are the 125s so it, the process of doing the DPF cleaning is going to be the same but um, it's not going to vary so if you wonder in this case this process is called DOC phase plug cleaning that is the name of the process and there is important steps that you have to do before starting this process first you have to make sure then the level of the uh, diesel and the DEF are in the correct level. It's going to take around four to five hours to complete, so you need plenty of fuel and DEF on your vehicle. Then you have to be sure that the vehicle is parked in a clean area and the vehicle is in idle. You don't have any type of faults related to DPF. All the DPF and SCR system are completely functional. And also you have to make sure then you have enough time and charge to the uh, computer than you're using because you're gonna need a lot of time for this so you have to have a charger plugged in and you have to get the adapter to connect to the OBD port of the truck you have to use any type of adapter that is capable to communicate between the truck and the computer with the DDL software and once we have all that checked in we can start the process once we connect the computer to the truck we're gonna go all the way to the DPF system on the uh, service routine. The action is going to be in this box over here that says actions and you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna go to after treatment and after treatment you're gonna follow it and then you're gonna go all the way down to DOC phase uh, plug cleaning. Once you click on it, it's going to give you this little box over here, this little window, and this window is going to allow you to do this. Once you see all these, you are going to click where it says start. If there is any issue when you say when you do start, it will not tell you right there because it's going to give you different um, uh, checks. If these checks don't happen, it's not going to allow you to do this. Anyway, you do start, and as soon as you do start, it will tell you that you have to press and hold the region button. If you have the Cascadia's 125, the ones that are 2011 to 2016, you can press and hold the button, and that's pretty easy. But if you have Cascadia's from 2017 and up, with the newer body 126, you have to go to the dashboard, the screen and select the region and then click on it and then it's going to happen the computer is going to continue on working and doing all that so very important things that you gotta see when this process is getting com uh, is getting on motion uh, you're gonna see that the temperature is going to raise all the way to 800 Fahrenheit and the reason why the temperature is reaching this is because D wants to clean the DOC if you don't know what the DOC is the freeze filter that comes from the engine the DPF is the next one so in this process the computer wants to clean the maximum amount of carbon that is built on the DOC phase that's the reason why it's called DOC phase plug cleaning because the process is going to clean that area so 800 degrees of temperature is going to be enough to clean this but it has to be done for a long period of time that's the reason why it's going to take around five hours to get completed in the process the computer is going to check many different um, readings uh, uh, knock sensor reading, uh, uh, DPF readings, uh, pressure readings and when it comes to the DP, D, DOC pressure in this case because the DOC pressure is the one that uh, stays um, in this little box right here that is the one that is going to monitor the most. The pressure is going to stay high at the beginning 
when the process is continuing going is cleaning and everything the pressure eventually is going to go down and down and down and once it goes to the maximum amount of time that it needs to do to get the DOC completely clean it, you are going to see that the DOC pressure is going to drop. And the reason why it's going to drop is because the DOC is getting cleaned up. The amount of temperature and the engine running is cleaning the maximum amount of carbon that is getting stuck in there. So this is going to help the DOC system and the DPF system and SCR system to last longer. It's going to continue on doing that until it starts a region. So when the system with the DOC phase plug cleaning starts a region, you're going to see the reading pressures and everything right here that's the reason why I open the, uh, the service routine with the DPF system so I can see when the region is happening and the region is going to start this way because it's going to be the last part of the DOC cleaning process the DOC phase plug cleaning process so it's going to be the last part if you are doing this process and you see when the region starts that means that the process is about to get done so the region is going to start normally like the way you do it normally the temperature of the DOC outlet is going to raise all the way to 1012 which is the maximum and the region is going to read the SCR systems and everything and once you get a successful region and a successful uh, DOC phase plug cleaning it's going to give you a little uh, message on the box right here and it's going to tell you then the system passed the test, which is good. DOC phase plug cleaning is a process then avoids to remove the DPF filters. If you ever wonder if it's better to remove the filters than do this process, well, that depends. If the DOC pressure is super high, sometimes it's better to remove the filters to clean the DPF and DOC manually. The reason is because in the majority of cases, the uh, amount of carbon or the amount of uh, any type of debris that is stuck inside the DOC or the DPF can be larger and cannot be burned with the region or the DOC um, plug phase. If the pressure is around like we can say 1 psi DOC inlet, 2 psi DOC inlet, yes, but if you do a region, like regular region, no a DOC phase plug cleaning, um, if you do a region and the, and the pressure is 2, we can say, do you do a region and then the pressure drops to 1, that means that the DPF and everything is working fine. So after you do a DOC phase plug cleaning, the pressure is going to drop a little more. So it is more convenient to do the, the DOC Facebook cleaning process with the DDL software, but sometimes depending on the conditions, depending on what type of problems you get, it's better to remove the filters. This process is not going to eliminate problems with your SER box or your DPS system. This process is only going to clean the DPF and the DOC that's it. It's not going to clean or prevent problems with the SER. Not at all. This process is not intended to fix problems with your SER. So if you're getting any problems like SER conversion low, emissions are low, or DPF efficiency low, or any codes that are related to a bad region or something like that, this process definitely is not going to fix any of that. Just to clarify, this process is only intended to clean the DPF and the DOC systems. But it is just uh, information for you to know in case you wonder how it's like to do a DPF DOC cleaning with the DDL software. It's very effective, um, it takes a lot of time, um, it is nothing to be scared, all you have to do is do the process as I say. Uh, just follow the safety recommendations, then is making sure that the vehicle is going to be in a clean surface and uh, everything nice and clean and that uh, all the fluids are in the correct level, there is no problem with the engine or nothing like that and, and, and the process is going to be successfully done. But uh, I hope this uh, gives you enough information 
to understand what I'm talking about. But if I haven't given you the proper information, just use the comment below. In the comment section below, you can actually leave your opinions, your uh, questions, or you can leave answers as well. The comment section below is very important because we can give more information so we can understand things that I didn't actually explain. Probably you can explain them better than me on the comment section below. Also, you can go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Mayuto. You can see different things that I'm doing there. So that way you can be in more contact, direct contact with me day by day. You wanna send support, check the description of the video. I have this is how to send support to the channel. Like the video, share it, subscribe. Thank you for watching.